Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Duncanson, Director of Health and Environment for the Town of Chatham. Today we're in the new wastewater operations building that's being constructed down between Commerce Park and the town landfill. If you were to enter the building, you'd, the front entrance will be right out there. You'd come into the building, into this vestibule, for want of a better term. Um, off to my right is where the operations portion is going to be. This is where the staff for the wastewater treatment plant will be. This is where all the computers and, and other telemetry that operates the plant, as well as all the various pump stations. Uh, down this corridor here is where the staff support facilities will be. Uh, things like lockers, bathrooms, mechanical rooms, um, and then a meeting room and break room. That wing of the building uh, to the south is the laboratory facilities for both the wastewater treatment plant as well as the town's water quality lab that's being relocated here. And then on the east end of the building, there's a large machine shop area where they'll be able to work on equipment for both the treatment plant as well as the pump stations and the collection system. And then on the far side of the building is where the vehicle storage area or garage will be. Now, right now we're standing outside the operations building. Um, and if you notice, it has a brick exterior. Uh, that was really done for two reasons. One, to make it blend in with the existing buildings on the site. But also, these buildings are being designed to last for 100 years. Uh, right now, you're looking at the new septage receiving building. For those of you that are on septic systems, that's where your waste will come in to be processed. Um, we have the existing treatment facility right now. You can see how small that is. And then the larger building over here is the new influent building. That's where all the sewer pipes that are going to be put in Chatham will come into that building. And that's where the first stage of treatment will really take place. The way it works is it goes through the primary treatment, which takes out a lot of the solids and the other contaminants in that building over there. The wastewater will then <coughs> move into this round or, or concentric rings right here and you're really hard to see and in that as it moves through those rings there's areas where it's aerated and other areas where it's not aerated and that's where you get this, the loss of the nitrogen and that difference between parts that have oxygen and parts that don't have oxygen there's microbes that will strip the nitrogen off and strip the oxygen off in order to survive and so that's what takes place in that area and then it goes into this, uh, this next building here is a process building. This building is going to house a lot of the pumps and motors and blowers that power the other different aspects of the site. 